Oh my gosh, we have a lot of turtles. How are they doing on age, though? Uh, looks like a lot of them are still infants. Oh my gosh. Yeah, these tur or tortoises. Man, I keep I keep getting messed up, mixed up, you guys, golly. But we have so many tortoises right here. I am very inclined to make them their own habitat once again. Especially because we do have, like, an area up here where we could definitely slip them in. Like, maybe, like, right here in this little corner bit right here. We could probably put the tortoises there. Hmm, maybe. And then maybe here we could put the, uh, the gorilla or chimpanzee or what, what was that critter that I was kind of, like, striving for? Uh, it was a western lowland gorilla? Yes, gorilla. So, man, this one's 1400 right there. Conservation credits. But this one has 7,000 appeal. This one is 6,000. But it's, like, half the conservation credits. I wonder why. Is it because, I'm like, they're both male. This one's a female. Huh, I think I'm going to pause real quick because this, this countdown is going down right there, you guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I want to go to sort by this. Yeah, it looks like the lowland gorilla is the most popular thing. I feel like we, if we're going to be getting both of them, or if, if we're going to be getting gorillas, I do want to get both of them. You know, male and female. But we can only afford one right now. Yeah, even with the cheapest ones, getting a male and a male right there, we'd, we'd probably just barely be... Yeah, I think we're actually just barely able to afford that. But of course, that's male and male. I want to get male and female, of course, right? So, which one would I get? The cheapest male, which is actually the highest appeal, is 738 conservation credits. And look, look at their little clock right there. Just like the snow leopards, as you can see right there, their clock is at like the 8, 7, 8 o'clock position. So, we're going to have to rotate them out, like, pretty quickly, you guys. I don't know if it's going to be worth it. Maybe. I just don't know how long these guys last before they turn elderly and I have to basically, you know, get rid of them. But I assume if I get a, a male and a female, they're of course going to have offspring, offspring and I'll be able to uh, get new ones and not have to really worry about, you know, getting new ones with conservation credits. I just, you know, wait until the babies grow up, you know? So, I don't know if I said, you know, too many times right there, golly. <laughs> but I think we're going to be getting this male. What is this one? Kondo. This one's named Kondo, which is a pretty funny name. I, I don't know. Oh, gosh. Immunity is really bad on that one. That's probably why it's so cheap. The immunity is probably going to get sick. This one's got pretty good. This one's got pretty good stats all around right there, you guys. Should I get this one? It's a little bit older. 0.4 years older. But look, look, look at the stats compared. Longevity is better. Fertility is better. Immunity is better. The only thing that's better about this one is the size. It's physically bigger. Well, this one's longevity is not quite as good, even though it is uh, 14 years right there. Oh, my gosh. I think this one's going to be a great deal, you guys. It's, it's got the silver little little thing right there. And remember, speaking of silver, once we get this uh, the species, we're going to have five species and we're going to get the silver star finally. So I think we're going to get it, you guys. Let's spend 1,400 conservation credits right here. And maybe we're going to get more of those wind turbines, just so hopefully we're going to... Uh, get more conservation credits here just by doing absolutely and utterly nothing maybe i'll scatter those around the park and we'll kind of rely on those instead of relying on the uh the transformers or whatever those are called right so i think this is what we're going to do 14 this is this is a lot of money this one's a rescue custom seizure i wonder if that actually has anything to do with anything this one's a breeding program yeah this one seems like the best one i'm glad i paused because i'm over here like pondering and stuff this one would have been would have been expired by the time that we're actually making a purchase right or whatever you do with conservation credits so let's buy this one 1408 conservation credits 18 years old 6896 uh appeal rating right there 18 years old i think i just said that and a male so we do need to get a female here in the future but i i hope this one's going to be fine on its own at least for the time being because we're going to have like two of the conservation credits when this is all said and done so i'm i'm not going to be able to afford a female unless it's like a really low level really low stats genetics and breeding female you know so let's adopt boom I can't afford like anything else conservation credits wise, golly. But I, I feel like, let's see, we're going to need to build a uh, new habitat here. And like I just said, for the tortoises, almost said turtles right there, but I said tortoises. <laughs> I think we're going to be building a an enclosure right here for the tortoises. So let's definitely build something right here. Uh, why is the length so long? Let's set that down to like 20 feet. That seems good. There you go. Let's set this uh, be like this to go right on the edge. Here we go. I don't know if I'll keep this bit on the edge. I don't know if I'll keep that glass or if I'll, uh, let's make this down to like 15 feet or so. Yeah, 16 feet. That's fine. Let's put this as close to the, uh, the path as we can. And of course, here in the future. Oh gosh, yeah, I need to make this taller, like physically tall. It's only six and a half feet right now. We need to make it 10 feet. That's basically how big our, uh, this, uh, this isn't technically a barrier or a habitat right now because it doesn't have a habitat entrance. But I do want to make this taller, so let's make that 10 feet. 
to match the rest of the park, so 10.02, that's good. $500 to do that, but of course we have 34,000, so we can afford that, no problem. Uh, let's do Habitat Gate, so if... This is, this is where the new staff area is going to be, to accommodate these creatures over here, as well as creatures that are going to be up here. You know, we're still going to be on the map long enough for that. So, to make it easier for staff to kind of come from up here all the way down here, I think I'm going to put the Habitat Gate right here. And why is that not... Oh, there it is right there. So, let's put that right here on this corner. There you go, nice. And that's going to be great. Alright, so... Mm, should I have it right here? Because if you're going to come up, you can't even really see the turtles. Or tort God! Tortoises. <laughs> so, maybe like right here. Let's edit barrier. Maybe like right here. And of course, this is staff only, so... I think I can, uh... There you go. Replace that as well, so... Guess they're not going to be able to go there. And then I think right here... Yeah, right there. Because right here, you'll still be able to see inside from the from the ground. So let's set that to something else, like wood logs. That's going to be fine. I'm like, it's, uh, these guys aren't going to be able to climb anything, right? But uh, maybe just to be safe, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll make this climb proof on this side, right? The left side? Is that the right side? Yep, that's the right side. Or the correct side. Not This would be the right side. <laughs> Anyways, there you go. There's the uh, the new tortoise habitat. Now, we do need to add their, uh, their stuff over there, but I think what we're going to do is grab all the tortoises. Let's grab all them. Babies, adults, all of them. We're going to be moving them over there. That way they're not good, because they are getting stressed right now from the, just the mass amounts of heckin' creatures. No, I do not want to release too wild. Let's move. And of course, we have six, uh, keepers right now, so moving them from there to here should be nice and quick, especially because, I don't know, it's going to be like two and a half trips between all six of them. Hopefully nothing bad is happening in the rest of the park. Low welfare and stressed. Yeah, I don't know if the, uh, the, oh, the ATM, oh god, ATM broke down. Yeah, gotta get that back. <laughs> and speaking of ATM and money, we do need to get those donation boxes. Let's go get those and place them down over here. Where would that be? Facilities. Go here. Donation box. Perfect. Let's put one like right here on this corner. Remember, we do need to do education as well. Now let's put a uh, donation box here. I like putting them on the edges and then one in the middle. I think that's a pretty good little spread right there. So that's good. And what else are we going to need? We're going to need like sand and stuff. But I think we're going to wait until they actually physically get there. And we might as well pause now. I think we're going to wait until they get there. That way I can, like, see their, uh, their ratings and what they want and all that kind of stuff, you know? So, for right now, that's what we have right there. We do have the gorilla as well. So, while the, uh, keepers are taken care of, uh, gorillas are strong, right? Everyone, everyone knows that. So, red brick. I did have a mechanic doing some research on, where is it right there? On, like, habitat, or barriers, yeah. But, uh, it never finished because, you know, I had to have do something else. <laughs> I didn't want him wasting his time and whatnot doing, uh, other- Oh, yeah, yeah, we need to, uh, add heaters in here. If anything, the first thing we need to add... Go here, habitat. Let's go to the torses. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. One, two, three keepers right there moving the torses. That's good. Uh, let's go to species. Speak of the tortoise. Let's go down here to T. Where is it? Uh, oh, yeah, it's like giant tortoise or something like that, right? Where is that at? Oh, there it is right there, Galapagos Giant Tortoise. So set this, uh, food trough. Let's do a, uh, let's do a small here. Small here. And let's do a medium here on this corner. There you go, nice. And of course, let's do a water pipe. There you go, just so they can drink out of that and get nice and hydrated. And of course, we do need shelter and, uh, heaters. So let's get a heater right here. This should be powered, it's literally, like, right next to a heckin', uh, what do you call it? A uh, windmill or wind turbine thing right there, right? So that's going to be good. And I think for the heater, yeah, we could we could change the range on that one as well. So that's good. So just like the cooler, we could change the range ever so slightly. Habitat has no keepers assigned or free to visit. Yeah, we need to add uh, keepers to this. So we need to, uh, I don't know if I'm going to move any keepers or if I'm going to hire a new set of keepers for these guys. But yeah, just like I said, because it's going to be a new area, it's going to be a new work zone. We're going to be building uh, new staff facilities and stuff up here. There you go, so that's going to be the, uh, the staff area here, hopefully. <laughs> now, we do need to add a keeper hut over here. I think I'm going to hire new keepers. Because right now, we're in a good spot, uh, keeper-wise. Yeah, I know it has no keepers. Uh, we're in a good, uh, good spot, keeper. Well, there again, yeah, if we're moving the same creatures over, we should at least move one keeper over as well. So, yeah, let's, let's make a new work zone over here. Oh, gosh, it's nighttime right now. Uh, let's make a new work zone. But before we do that, I do want to... Let's check this. How are we doing electricity? Okay, so this is going to be powered over here from the front, so that's going to be great. So let's definitely add some of the staff buildings starting from, like, right here. So let's add a facility. Let's go to uh, staff facilities. And yeah, we have a lot of, like, design-wise, like, staff facilities over here, so that's good. But for right now, we do need a uh, keeper hut. So let's see. Which one do I want? East Asian. 
Classic Keeper Hut, African Origins. Let's just get an original one. There we go. Small Keeper Hut right there. That's going to be good. What's this one? Huge or large? Yeah, I don't need that. Let's get a uh, F right now. We could just do this one. Yeah, that's going to be fine. Especially, you know, just starting out. So we have one uh, small Keeper Hut right there. That's going to be good. And uh, let's, let's go over here. Let's get one of the high level Keepers. That's already maxed out, of course. And let's move him over here. So, Virginia Babcock, you're going to be coming over here. Oh, whoops, I need to actually make the work zone first, right, golly? Let's just make a new work zone. It's going to be including this and this. So that's going to be good. Do I want it to also include these shops over here and exhibits? Seems a little bit closer, honestly. I think I'm going to keep it as is for right now. I'll worry about that a little bit later, possibly off camera. So, work zone three. What, what should I call this? The hilly zone, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I suppose we could call it Hilly Zone. So let's, uh, let's do that. Hilly area. There you go. Hilly area. And let's go staff and keeper. You're going to be coming over here to Hilly area. So you're going to be taking care of the tortoises over there. So that's going to be great. And of course, remember, we do need to add uh, lights over here as well. So definitely want to remember that. Let's go over here. Let's check up on the uh, the tortoises now. Oh, yeah. We need a uh, hard shelter. Hard shelter. That's, that's one of the things. If anything, I need to get immediately. So where would that be? Eh, yeah, this seems like a fine one. There you go. We can slip that in on this corner, I'd say. That'd be pretty good. And of course, slip in some beddings over here as well. And these are going to be tortoises, right? So they're not going to be t particularly massive, right? <laughs> I don't think we need to get anything too too crazy, but we can just get some small beddings, put them on the corners, and maybe get some mediums. Maybe put a large in the middle. There we go. That should be good. All right, so we have a shelter over here for all these tortoises. Hopefully, that's going to be enough for all these guys. Uh, if not, then I'm going to slip in a couple more small beddings here between these. So hopefully that'll accommodate all the babies that we currently have. So that'll be good. And uh, we're still doing pretty well money-wise, you guys. That's good. That's great. Uh, look at all the people coming over here. That's awesome, you guys. What's going on over here? Uh, oh, gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, hold on. What does that say? Oh, yeah, yeah. Not in the ideal temperature range. Let me check the other uh, heat thing over here. Let's go to... Where is it at? Temperature. Uh, yeah, it's like in the corner there, and I feel like feel like we can move this ever so slightly. Let's move this, boom, move it like that, and up like this. That might get that corner over there nice and uh, nice and heated up. So that should be good for these guys, especially when it does snow. Because remember, we are in Canada, right? So hopefully it's going to be good. Uh, it was snow just a moment ago, but I can't physically see snow over here right now, so that sucks. But I don't see uh, any problems right now, so that's great. Let's check up on the uh, so snow leopard and peafowl and tortoises. Yeah, I need to rename that because we don't have peafowl or tortoises over there now in Galilee. So let's rename this one to just peafowls. There we go, just peafowls there. So that's going to be great. And then over here, we're going to have tortoises. Oh, yeah, it's snowing right now, so that's good. So we can actually physically see. Let's name this one tortoises. There we go. Let's actually see if any, uh, any snow comes. Up. Yeah, there's a little bit of snow right there in the corner and a little bit right here, but I think we're fine. Might be able to move this one physically just ever so slightly this way to uh, hopefully take care of that corner over there. But I think we're fine in general. Oh, gosh. Well, never mind. Now there's a little strip right there in the middle. <laughs> All right. Well, let's place that back. Oh, God. Oh, I think it's because uh, it, it takes a little while to heat up. Yeah. Let me move that back ever so slightly right there. That should be good. That might get rid of that oily corner over there. Of course, it does take a moment to heat back up, but let's actually click on a tortoise right now. It is so, like, snowy and, and also dark at the same time. I can't really see too well, you know. But uh, right now, we need a little bit of, a uh, pretty good amount of sand and, of course, less snow. So let's add some sand inside of here. That way, these guys feel a little bit more at home. So let's go to terrain and sand, find sand. Let's go to, let's go to, like, 70% right here. Let's go to, like, here in the middle. There we go. That's going to be a pretty good amount. Let's find sand. Maybe between that, we could put some of the coarse sand. So there you go. Pretty good amount of sand in there right now. Let's check up on this guy. Environment. Uh, train. A little bit more sand, honestly. That's kind of surprising. Oh my gosh. This crazy amount of heck and snow all over the place. Thankfully, none of it seems to be actually inside of the tortoise area, so that's great. Oh, hopefully there's no sand in the heck and pathway over there, but let's check him on it now. Oh, that's a big old tortoise right there. Golly. Uh, need a little bit more sand. Man. Heart shelter. Really? There's not enough heart shelter. There's heart shelter right here. I don't know. Maybe I need two uh, enclosures for him. If that's the case, I'll have to look into placing down another one like right there. Of course, we also need enrichment over here, too. Yeah, it's definitely. Uh, and I need to get rid of some of the enrichment stuff from the peafowl area that doesn't uh, belong there anymore. So we get a block of ice. I can't really see too well with all the snow here, you guys. Block of ice. Blood. Oh, gosh. Whoops. Probably shouldn't be having a blood scent marker here for I can tortoises. But let's go back to Galapagos giant tortoise. There it is right there. I guess it doesn't 
want the black vice, but I, I'll put a small ball there. Oh yeah, sprinklers. Let's get some sprinklers. There you go. Sprinkler there. Sprinkler there. And sprinkler there. There you go. Oh, whoops. All right. So we got some sprinklers so these guys can have a little bit of fun. Small ball, herb set marker thing. Uh, collateral stuff. Nope. Uh, food enrichment. Block of frozen fruit. We can put that over here. Uh, there it is. And a dog ball. We can put that, uh, I guess I'll put it like right here. Here we go. And a fruit spike tree. I guess I'll put that there. And maybe I'll put another one. Maybe like, I don't know where I can put another one. I guess I'll put one right there. Man, look at all these. I get tortoises and turtles. Or just tortoises, golly. <laughs> There's so many of them right there, you guys. God, man. Anyways, they were complaining about the heart shelter earlier, but wait, are these even. Is that the wrong. Uh, oh, man. Aldabra giant tortoise. I had the wrong thing. Probably getting comments about it. Yeah, I guess there's a different one. Uh, where is it? Uh, there it is right there. Okay, let's see. Which ones do these get? Okay, so it's the same thing for food enrichment and same thing for f toy enrichment. Okay, so that's good. And same thing for food and water, so that's good. But, uh, for their shelter, which ones do they want? Do they not like that big one that I just placed down? Because I am not seeing it here at all. Yeah, I don't think they like that big one there, you guys. I think I'm going to need to get, uh, if I want to have a big one like that, I want to place down either this or like this. I'm going to place it down like this, because having a big, like, center area like that probably doesn't make too much sense. For right now, though, I think I'm going to place it down right there. Oh, yeah, we have a heckin' gorilla. I need to... Oh, mechanic research complete. And high amounts of litter. Yeah, I need to I need to put some waste bins over here on this new area. New uh mechanic research. What is it? Uh, barriers. Okay, well, let's go see what that is, even though we can kind of get a sneak peek of it right here. Uh, Gab... Gabion? Gabion? I don't know what in the world that is or how to pronounce that piece, but it looks like kind of like stone, so maybe it's going to be good for the gorilla, so right now the best thing we have, the most durable thing we have, is bricks, so I wonder if that's better. I guess we'll check here in just a bit. Looks like we're currently researching chain steel posts, then concrete, definitely want concrete, and then electric, golly, and then one-way glass, golly. I need to, I need to research that all the way right there, just to get the one-way glass. Let's get to a habitat, go to bedding. Let's go to medium for all of these. Yeah, it's going to be the tortoise area here. Man, yeah, I got mixed up between the multiple tortoise species that we have. I don't know if any of you guys caught that before I did. Jeez, that's probably why they had such a low uh, heart shelter rating there, you guys. Even though they had, you know, a really good heart shelter there already. And anyways, there you go. I don't know if that's going to be good enough for all the uh, the males and females. Or all the all the adults and, you know, like, children. <laughs> anyways, let's move this one over there now. Now we just got rid of the old one that... Apparently they don't like. Uh, let's place it down like this. That way then it can't really get like trapped behind it, you know? So let's do that. There we go. And they're already inside there. That's good. All right. Let's click on one. See what they think about the hard shelter. And it's gone up. It's it's at 33%, which is great. Uh, I need to see how many we actually have inside here. So we can do that real quick by going here. Animals. And we have 15 in here. So what do we have right here? Two, three, four, then nine. We have... I need to get more beddings. So let's go to habitat. Let's put more beddings down. Just scatter them about. There we go. That should be good. All right. Because I think one tortoise can lay on one bedding. So hopefully it's going to be good for these guys. Let's click on this one. Go to terrain. And heart shelter's down to 27%. I need to see particularly insufficient to cover all animals. Yeah, I guess, I guess this one's just physically not big enough for all these guys to fit under. Maybe I'll need another one over here then, huh? Yeah, just like I thought. Let's get another one over here. Let's get a, a small one like this. Yeah, a small little strip. There we go. And of course, place some beddings inside there. So there we go. All right. Let's pick up on the other our shelter now. 43 on that one. Hopefully it goes up, golly. But, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Everything else seems to be fine. <laughs> seems like the only thing we're struggling with right now is hard shelter. Environment's good. They don't they don't really care about plants and stuff, but that seems good. Uh, need a little bit more sand. I thought I had enough sand there. I just scattered a bunch, but... Place down some more fine sand over here. And there we go. That should be good. All right. Let's go click on them now. And they're good with the sand and everything else. That's great. All right. And what do they want? Yeah, more hard shelter and more food enrichment. So I guess we're going to get more food enrichment for these guys. Let's get another block of frozen fruit. Another uh, tree thing there. Dog ball. There we go. And of course, the visibility over here isn't going to be the best, but, you know, it'll still be pretty decent, I'd say. All right. Enrichment's at 85% now, so that's great. If I go tier to hard shelter, it's at 43%. Man! Yeah, I don't think I could accommodate their hard shelter, unfortunately. But, uh, oh gosh, what's happening here? Animal stressed. It's still stressed? Oh gosh, we have a baby! We have a baby snow leopard! Oh my gosh! Bat Erdine. I guess that's what they named it. That's kind of strange. <laughs> but, uh, social. Yeah, it, it's stressed right now. I, I need to see how I deal with that. I thought 
thought they were stressed out by the people looking at them, but this should be nice and safe from peering eyes. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Well, if it's if it's scared, hopefully I'll go inside the other uh, hard shelter and hide away and whatnot, you know? Oh yeah, speaking of uh, barriers and hard shelter and whatnot, what is this? Uh, resistance grade 5, opaque climbable. This one's not climbable, so... Yeah, not wire tied either, so I think we're still going to go with a red brick for the gorilla. And speaking of such, we do need to make the uh, the actual enclosure. Look at that little square right there, jeez. Let's make the enclosure right here. I think we're going to make it right here. And then maybe put another, uh, maybe put a pathway around. Maybe what we could do is uh, similar to what we did with the, uh, let's go to, not Q. What would I use a Q for? Maybe to line up and use like a shop or something like that, I guess? I don't know. But similar to the other one. Uh, for the snow leopard, maybe I'll make this one a little bit wider. Maybe I'll make it 20 feet wide. That might be good. <laughs> Hopefully it's not going to be quite as crowded as a snow leopard area. But this one, I think we're going to be making it go up. So let's make this go up. And how tall was it last time? It was like too tall, I think. That should be good. All right. Let's uh, flatten that out now. And uh, let's make this circle around. Right up here. There we go. Kind of use as much space as we can. And I don't want it to be too bigger. Uh, actually, you know what? We might be able to make multiple enclosures here, you guys. Like, I might be able to have a gorilla area here, and then maybe, like, another area here for some other type of creator. So we could have, uh, like, this. Like, it's, it's, it's oh, gosh. It's, it's, it's probably going to see the wind turbine one way or another, but... I don't know, it might not actually be a bad thing for people to see the wind turbine. If anything, they might prefer that over a, uh... Whatever that power transformer thing was. I guess right here, yeah. Oh gosh, I actually seem really tall now. Let me see. The the snow leopard area wasn't that tall, was it? It might have been, and I just it just feels tall because we're on top of a cliff now, but let's let's make this a little bit smaller. Let's go down to length. Set that to like two or three. So we can connect that down here. Without turning the stairs. Yeah, I don't think so. I think it's going to turn the stairs no matter what. So there it goes. It's always going to be stairs here, unfortunately. But uh we could have two enclosures here, so. We could have a gorilla enclosure and whatever else we think of over here. Or we could just have one giant gorilla enclosure, depending on, you know, how, how big of an enclosure this guy wants. But for right now, we're going to be making out a red brick. And, uh, yeah, the resistance grade is the same there. I do want to go check up on the, uh, oh, yeah, it's going to be a little while until the, the guy researches the next thing. I think the next thing is, like, chain link fence or something like that. That's going to be dumb. So I don't think we need to worry about that. Cleanliness is a heckin' disease risk. Oh, my God. Why is it always a disease risk over here? Jeez. There you go. <laughs> Anyways, uh, oh, if anything, oh gosh, yeah, look at all the heckin' trash here. I need to get some of the, I need to get, like, new, like, cleaner people here. <laughs> as well as to place down a bunch of trash cans and, and, and whatever else, benches and all that kind of stuff. I need to do that, but I'll probably do that off camera. But for right now, I'm gonna place down some of the red brick stuff. Diseased animal, okay, well, hopefully they're taking care of that. Golly, let's make this, uh, ten feet tall, so ten point, maybe a little bit taller, honestly, I don't know. I'm 10 feet tall for right now, that, that should be fine. Set this to like 20 feet right there. Let's see. Yeah, that seems way taller. There you guys. Yeah, because the snow leopard area. I need to... I, I, hopefully, the, hopefully the gorilla isn't able to, to come out or anything like that, you know. But I think I'm going to make this smaller. Because it... Yeah, it, it seems like my suspicions were correct earlier. Because this just seems really tall. So let's, uh, let's make this a little smaller. Alright, I think this is... Uh, I think this is a better height right here, so... Let's just build this around like we just did a moment ago. Oh, no! Man, the game just crashed right there. Hopefully I didn't lose any progress. Because I did so much hecking off camera work, and I don't know if it's saved. Whenever I, uh... But let's just see what it takes us. If it takes us too far back, then I don't even know what I'm going to do, you guys. Skip over the elephant bit. Let's go to resume. And let's load into the Planet Zoo world here. Where is it going to take us? Is it going to take us too far back to where I'm just going to give up? We don't have the silver star yet. Uh, okay. Oh, whew. I don't know when. Oh, gosh. Okay, this is taking quite a while. But thankfully, it seems like we didn't lose, like, basically any progress right there, which is awesome. I don't know if this is, like, when I was trying to build the first path or, or what, but I'm, I'm definitely... Oh, yeah, this was right before... Yeah, I think this is before I tried building the first path now I think about it because I did not want to place it right there. Let's place it right here now. <laughs> Let's make it go up by three and curve it around now. Yeah, okay. I'm going to make it this tall. I think it's going to be a lot better than what we had before. And I'm probably going to get rid of those trees as well. But uh, let's just wrap this around the perimeter like so. Or, and then maybe like right here, I can make it start ramping up. There we go. 
and then we can start curving it over and connecting it like so. All right, so there you go. Hopefully it's going to be a, a pretty good visibility for everyone. I, I was kind of also thinking like maybe I could have a path here in the middle that kind of connects right here. That way it kind of looks like an enclosure here and then an enclosure here, maybe. Hmm, how would that look? I wanted to do that. Three. And then have it kind of like this. Hmm. So we'd have an enclosure here and an enclosure here, but it's like really weirdly shaped. I don't really like it, honestly, you guys. I think... I think we're just going to keep the the, the the perimeter method, I guess you could say, so let's undo that. There you go. And then, <laughs> I guess I don't have to do this off camera, hopefully it didn't like mess up the file, hopefully it's still recording, golly. But uh, let's, uh, let's go to red brick, let's make this one 10 feet tall like we did moments ago. 10.02, there you go, perfect. And let's, uh, oh yeah, I can curve this brick, can't I? Yep, curved selections, so let's make this, uh, try and match the path as much as we can. As well as even, uh, we, we, we can go underneath the path as well, don't want to get too far away from the path. Definitely want to try and stay as close as I can to it. There you go, that's nice and connected. And of course, right here, we just like in the, uh, the snow leopard area, we're going to be, uh, making this one out of glass, so. And connect that up right there, and connect, oh, whoops, connect this one up right there. Alright, so you can see through the glass right here and see the gorillas, or you can go up here and see over the ledge and see the gorillas. Uh, hopefully gorillas, because right now all we have is just one. And, just like last time, I, th I guess what we could do, especially because we already have a staff uh, thing right here, we could put a staff, or a uh, barrier, there we go, put a habitat gate right here, and of course it's going to be connected with a staff path that only staff members can walk on legally, right, golly? <laughs> oh, whoops, that's way too, why is that so wide? There we go, undo that. <laughs> there we go, that's fixed now. Okay, so that's good. So we have a grill area over here now, so that means... Uh, oh, mechanic research, what is it? Uh, another barrier right there. I think it's going to be like, what, the, the fences or something like that? I don't really care about. Uh, oh wait, I think I was defer... Oh yeah, it is actually the chain steel post. Okay, and then now we have, we're going to have concrete after this, so that's going to be really cool. We have a lot of litter we need to take care of too. And uh, we have peafowls over here that are just making an absolute another mess, so let's go keep her over here. I'm definitely going to have to get uh, a lot of... A lot of just like I said earlier, uh, waste bins and I'm going to have to assign you, uh, what are they called again? I keep forgetting it. The people that clean up, <laughs> uh, caretakers, that's what they're called, caretakers. We're going to get a few of them over here in this new area because look at all this heckin' litter. People over here, they just don't care. Jeez, hopefully none of that litter's inside of the donation boxes. That, that's exclusively for money only. Anyways, let's move over the gorilla that we got a little while ago, Western Lowland Gorilla. Uh, I wonder if it's like basically in stasis while it's over there. Send it to there you go, uh, because hopefully it's not like aged or anything like that while it's kind of memeing around over here, you know. So hopefully right now that gorilla is going to be completely fine in this area. I don't know what it wants over here, and of course we have no research for it, so we might as well get vet research. Let's get to whoever's not. Oh yeah, and I have, I have a uh, two of my vets currently researching like advanced research bonus thing. I don't know what this does, but I, I researched basically everything already. Oh, what in the world? Why is yellow anaconda? Empty. Why can't I do anything? Oh, wait, hold on. Did our yellow anaconda, like, die or something like that? It might have, and I just didn't know about it, you guys. Hold on. That would be up here in the front, right here, right? Oh, it, it did! We don't have a yellow anaconda. That makes sense. Let's get another one, you guys. I guess the yellow anaconda we had beforehand, let's get the exact same thing. Uh, so that'd be at the very bottom, honestly. Uh, yep, all the way down here. Let's get the best one, because we have a lot of money, and we can definitely spend it over here. So, eight years old, two years old, 2250. I kind of want to get the youngest one, honestly. Oh my gosh, this was like, a, Felipe's like a fresh newborn, you guys. Oh my gosh. Do you want to get, let's get Felipe. He's super duper young. Uh, part of a breeding program. Let's get him. Adopt. Send to zoo. Put him over here in this enclosure. And I think we're good now, you guys. You can actually see him in there. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, all these, uh, all these exhibits over here all have tier three or enrichment level three on everything. So, uh, that's why we have these lamps and stuff in here. Where is he at? I can't actually physically see him right- Oh, is he- Uh, we'll probably have to wait for a caretaker to come over here, although I thought it did it insta- Oh, whoa! I, uh, I hate to sound jealous, but I'm hearing from the staff there that they prefer working for you over me! <laughs> I, I can understand it, though. You've built a fine place for him. I'll have to up my game back here, won't I? <laughs> In fact, it's settled. I'm buying all my staff Cosmic Cow Ice Cream. <laughs> nice bribing of staff members with Cosmic Cow. Well, I've got Cosmic Cow too. Two can play with that game. Golly. Habitat has no keepers. Uh, yeah, I need to, I need to add uh, this to the new work zone, so let's definitely do that. And we currently only have one keeper in this area, so 
Might want to consider hiring another keeper. That way that we can accommodate this area. Let's name this one a gorilla or a Western Lowland Gorilla. Probably going to only have one gorilla at least for right now. So I think we, we can name it Gorilla for right now. That's going to be fine. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Let's go to staff, work zones, uh, hilly area. Uh, I could probably call it mountain area. To be quite, that sounds better. <laughs> Let's call it mountain area. So mountain area. Oh, it's already got area there. So there you go. Uh, edit work zone to include this habitat right there. And I guess we could also include this wind turbine thing. So let's include that one. So that's going to be good. And uh, I think we're going to be fine right here, you guys. Nice. Might want to move a vet area over here or something. Just because it is pretty far. If, you know, if something, an emergency happens. So I'll have to think about that. But for right now, let's go to the gorilla. I guess we'll be done pause right now. Let's see what it wants. Uh, welfare, enrichment. Yeah, we don't have any of those. So let's definitely get vet, vet research. Let's go down to... Where is the gorilla at? Oh, there it is right there. Western, Western Lowland Gorilla. Let's get some research going on for you. And let's see. Terrain. You want hard shelter, of course. Uh, more short grass, a lot less long grass, and a lot of soil. That makes sense. It's a lot of soil. And uh, yeah, it looks like we already got rid of a lot of tall grass right there. You guys got me. <laughs> Might want to pause right here, honestly. Just, uh, you know, so we don't have anything bad going on here. But this guy, like, getting all moody and stuff because he's too much like long grass over here. Uh, turn all this long grass into short grass to set this intensity up to 100% honestly so we don't have like any long grass like at all except for maybe like a couple patches here and there I don't know if he's fine with a couple patches uh, it is a male by the way yep male so just wanted to make sure uh yeah he, he's fine with none so I could just straight get rid of all the heckin tall grass here <laughs> maybe I'll consider actually doing that and of course we need a ton of soil so let's get a bunch of light soil here just kind of swirl it around randomly almost and let's get some heavy soil. Mix that in as well. There we go. Maybe even get some stone and rocks and stuff. That might be pretty interesting. There we go. That's a lot right there. And of course, we, he, he wants some short grass as well. So let's mix that in. Sprinkle that in right there. Let's see how he see how he likes this now. Terrain. <laughs> I, uh, that was completely just on accident right there, you guys. Nice. He's he's good with the terrain. 100%. That's great. Now, what is this? Land area. This seems like way too much area for him. So he, he's completely fine with all this area. But... He wants some climbable area, so hopefully we have something for him to climb on. If not, then we need to build something for him. So let's go down here, species. It's going to be at the very bottom, Western Lowland Gorilla. Let's go down to any uh, climbable stuff that I could just just buy without having to build. Although it would be, uh, you know, I don't think there's any, anything pre-built here, unfortunately. Food and water. Definitely need that. Uh, let's put water here. There you go. And uh, eh, three meters, four meters. Basically the same size-ish. So I, I guess we could put one one right here. Just so we get a bunch of uh, offspring here in the future, because that's kind of what I'm aiming for, right? Uh, looks like a lot of peafowls here. Animals, peafowls are hungry and whatnot. Yeah, I think I think a lot of our keepers were preoccupied earlier on moving the tortoises, so hopefully they're going to be fine now. And of course, we moved one of the keepers over to here, so we have one less keeper over here. So I might want to consider getting two new keepers. It's going to be pretty expensive, but we might be able to afford it, especially when we have a brand new critter. That has a uh, really high ratings and stuff, right? So let's put a keeper there, and uh, I guess I'll put another one here. Look at that weird lens flare right there, you guys. Jeez, let's move you to where would I do this? Quick zone. You're going to go to mountain area, and you are going to go to uh, front area. There, nice. And of course, we're going to do some uh, some stuff for them to make sure they're nice and leveled up and whatnot. But for right now, we do need uh, tr I think trees count for uh, climbing, right? So if I go to nature, go down to uh, let me check the continent and all that kind of stuff on this guy. Africa and tropical. So let's go to tropical here. Continent, Africa. There it is right there. And if we get any trees here, like a... Cap oh, gosh! Yeah, I don't know if he's going to be able to climb that gigantic thing. Golly! Uh, custard apple tree? I guess we'll get some of these custard apple trees. They're pretty small. Uh, coconut palm. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if these guys actually climb any of this stuff. I'm not a, I'm not a gorilla expert. Uh, oh, gosh, that thing's beautiful. Although it, mm, I don't know, it might fit here. I guess it fits in with the theme, the scenery. Uh, this tree fits pretty well there as well. Nice, that's good. Let's put another one like right here. Sure, there you go. Nice. And mangrove apple. I guess we could put some of these here, just scatter them and whatnot. So there you go. Oh, there you go. All right. And of course, we need some bushes and whatnot, just so it's not literally all just trees, right? <laughs> so we're going to need some bushes. So I wonder if we have scave us here. And if not, then. Uh, yeah, I don't think I, I think all we have is literally just trees and uh, ferns, just birds nest ferns, and that's pretty much it here, you guys. 
I guess I could scatter him like this. There you go. I don't know how much uh, vegetation he wants. But, uh... Let's just put these next to the tree. Like I said earlier, I do like whenever there's plants and stuff like next to the trees. I guess if we don't pause now. So hopefully he's going to be fine with this area. And another large here. I guess I could put a... There you go. Small. And a medium right there in the middle, randomly. Let's see. Uh, looks like he's good now. That's great. So, looks like we have enough right here for plant coverage. So that's awesome. Environments there. And hard shelter. We still need that. And climbable area. I guess he can't climb any of these trees. So he wants some of the, some of the man-made climb, climbable stuff, I assume. So, anyways, right now. Oh. Uh, so looks like we have some pea fowls about to mature. Looks like we're going to heck and <laughs> sell those guys off and get some, uh, get some more conservation credits. So that's going to be great. But for right now, go down to habitat. Go here to beds and shelters. I don't know why I have that favorited, but I might as well, uh, place one of these down. Just so it's not like a weird wooden thing. It's going to be an actual, like, enclosure, maybe? Hmm, like this. I guess I put this over here in the middle. There we go. We could slip this, like, house over here, basically, right? So we just do that right there. Nice. And get some beddings in there. These are gorillas after all, so medium and large and maybe even some extra larges for these guys. They're going to be huge, so definitely want some large. There you go. Large, 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 large. Of course, if they have, like, offspring, babies. We have some mediums here, so that's going to be great. And uh, that should be good for their hard shelter. So let me check up on the gorilla now. What do you think of the place? Hard shelter is 100%. Terrain is 100%. Only thing we're worried about right now is climbable area. And enrichment. And of course, we're going to get enrichment here in the future from the research, but we may already have some enrichment here. Uh, yep, we have a block of ice. We have small ball. Let's go to small ball there. Mirror mobile. Let's see plays out there. Sprinklers. Uh, I wonder what he thinks of snow and stuff. I assume he doesn't like, doesn't like it because he, you know, oh, whoa. What was that thing? They box him up for some strange reason. Why is he boxed up? I have no idea. Unbox him. I don't know why that keeps happening. <laughs> they, they keep boxing up the creatures for some strange reason. Hopefully nothing happened to them. Diseased animal discovered. Okay. Vet, get over here. <laughs> High mouse litter. I know I need to take care of that so bad. Jeez. <laughs> I, I need to pause and, and place down a bunch of uh, trash cans and get some caretakers or whatever over here. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, I assume it doesn't like snow because it's from Africa. And I don't even know if it snows like anywhere on the whole entire continent. But maybe like South Africa? If there are any South Africa viewers... Be sure to like me in the comments if it does snow there, because I just assume it doesn't snow in Africa at all, so that'd be pretty cool if it actually does in the southern tip there, you know? But, uh, let's see what else we have here. Cardboard box. I'm like, I want to put some of the more in, uh, enrichment stuff, like, near the window up here. Small ball, yep, we place that down. Cardboard box, block of ice. I don't know if I place that down yet, but there you go. Food enrichment. Forging box, yes, definitely want that. It's forging box, let's put that, like, right here. There we go, that's going to be great. For food and a block of frozen fruit. Fruit. Put that there. Nice. Right next to the other ice cube thing. It's going to be great for us. So let's actually check up on the enrichment rating now. Hopefully we're going to be doing uh, pretty well. Enrichment's 100%. Boom. Got it, you guys. Nice. And of course, we do have a little sprinkler repeat thing right there. After the first toy, each copy improves toy enrichment by either smaller amounts or none at all. So yeah. Seems like having repeats doesn't really help at all. But uh, if you want to have coverage with the sprinklers, you have to place down multiple, you know? Let's see. In a huge area like this. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you guys think? Is this too big? It just feels too big. And we could, we could especially because, like, right here in the middle, like, if, it, if it's in the middle, I don't think anyone can see the gorilla. I feel like it's just too big, you guys. I mean, oh, oh, is it cli it's climbing this tree. But apparently it doesn't have any climbable area. Yeah, look at that thing, it's in the tree right there. There he is. Let me see, does he still have any climbable... Yeah, he still doesn't have any climbable area for some strange reason. I'm like, he's literally in a tree right now. He climbed in the tree. I wonder if we could put, uh, yeah, I can't, I can't mess with terrain, unfortunately, so I can't put, like, a lake in here if I wanted to, or a pond, you know? So that sucks. Water treatment's failing. That don't really matter too much, because honestly, uh, uh, we don't have any, like, watery critters, like, at all, so that doesn't really matter right now. But, like I was talking about for who knows how long, I think I'm going to finally pause and, uh, place down a bunch of, you know, try, oh, 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 let's do, uh, don't wanna, I definitely want to place these down real quick. Golly, donation boxes. Boom, boom, and boom. Of course, I'm going to place down a bunch of donation boxes, trash cans, education boards, uh, recycling bins as well. Those are something we could do as well. Uh, of course, putting these, these things a little bit too close to each other does kind of defeat the purpose, so I don't want to place them too close to each other, but I do want to have a pretty good amount of them. That way, you know, people can donate whenever. Put an ATM like right here, too. <laughs> 
<laughs> Maybe we'll actually place one down unironically. But yeah, like I was talking about earlier, let me just pause the recording, place down a bunch of, uh, you know, some of the more boring and laborious stuff that we're going to have to get out of the way, because it is super duper dirty over here. <laughs> place down a bunch of trash cans, recycling bins, benches, uh, street lights, education boards, all that kind of stuff, just, just kind of get this thing nice and set up. But for right now, the gorilla seems to really like the place, and hopefully people are really liking it as well. We're up to twenty or 1,200 people in the park. Uh, before I pause, though, just, oh, have at least four exhibit species in the zoo. We already have that. Uh, we need to have at least seven habitat species in the zoo. We already have five, so we need to get two more creatures. And uh, what, 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 before I pause, what, what, what could we get? We have timber wolves, we have snow leopard. Saltwater croc. I'm I'm definitely thinking about that. Let's actually sort by like most appeal. Grizzly bear, yes. That's what that's what I was thinking about earlier. That seems like a great especially at the top of the mountain area up here. Having a grizzly bear area. That seems good. Like right here, actually. Oh, like right here actually seems like a great if I get slit if it's not too small. Hopefully it's not too small. But yeah, having a grizzly bear area there seems like a great place to put it. Having a shops right here seems like a great place to slip those in, so that's gonna be great. Of course we're gonna be right next to the enclosures. And of course, those are going to be out of the way of the actual staff buildings here. I'm going to need to place down trees and whatnot to kind of hide those. I don't know if that actually helps, but <laughs> at least it kind of helps. And it does, uh, by the way, yeah, I don't know if I ever mentioned it before, but these things do have, if I click on this, a staff room scenery rating. So, of course, this one's at 100%. It's next to a bunch of trees. But uh, apparently having these, like, scenery ratings, like, high, I guess makes them more efficient or whatever. Yeah, I don't think I can actually see the ratings on that one. Uh, I think I can on this one, though. Uh, yeah, this one's at 100% efficient. Yeah, that's good. So yeah, I definitely do want to have like trees and whatnot around it. That way it's not like barren over here like this one is. Oh gosh, diseased animal. And uh, wind turbines failing and research is complete. Which one is this one? Uh, I think it's the concrete barriers. I, I kind of want to check on that real quick. What is that? Where is it? There it is right there. Resistance grade six. If anything happens to the gorilla enclosure, I might want to consider replacing all this with although I could replace it like right now if I felt actually I might do it right now honestly I suppose a view of the is yeah it's and it looks lonely yeah, I know it's we're at 530 conservation credits hopefully it keeps going up and of course I have a lot of p files I could probably get rid of too yeah see that's what I was kind of worried about people were complaining about the view of the western lowland gorilla because of course he's pretty far away when he hangs out in the middle there so either put like another strip of something like right here maybe I don't know if that's like too intrusive there because he seems fine with the, the size of the enclosure right now like maybe i can cut down the size to like maybe like right here and that's going to be it and then like maybe over here it could be something else maybe i'll think about it i'll figure something out off camera more than more likely than not i think i am going to end up splitting this down the middle you guys so maybe like right here and then split it down up there that's probably what i'm going to end up doing there you guys so yeah and if i do have Maybe we slip in a bear over here, honestly. And of course, we'll be. Oh gosh! A lot of diseased animals over here, you guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we could have a gorilla over here. And then have a split down the middle, of course, with concrete, just to make it super duper durable. But, uh, also to make it so the visibility isn't, like, terrible like it is right now. But before I go, I guess uh, we could replace it all with concrete. Alright, so this is what the concrete looks like. Not quite as aesthetically pleasing as the brick, though, but a lot stronger. Well, a little bit stronger. Resistance grade 6 compared to 5, so... I guess we could keep this for right now. Seems alright. And we do have a little bit of brick back there. I, I can't change it to concrete for some strange reason. I think it's too close to the, uh... To the, to the actual walkway, you know? So, unbox you. So, I think what I need to do is... Yeah, it, like, goes under the walkway right there. So, I think I need to, I I need to pull that in a little bit right there, and I'll be able to make it concrete. But... Yeah, like I was saying for the last, like, 10 minutes, I'm gonna pause the recording, get a bunch of stuff done. Oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> this happened again, jeez. I'm glad I made this, like, wider, because look at all the people here, you guys. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah, you guys already know the drill. I don't think I need to repeat it again, so I'm gonna pause the recording, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. 